Hello, welcome to the online chant course video. We had popular request a lot of our families, a lot of, yep, you want to hold it up? A lot of our families are singing Compline and as a family, and this is the hymn for Compline, the Te Lucis. Oh, and I've got some dot points, so you have to get through some points. Okay, ah. here are the dot points. So, Compline, um, when do we sing Compline? Um, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock at night. So we sing at 8 p.m. at night as the last thing before going to bed, pretty much. Night prayers. So after Compline in the monastery, everything's nice and quiet. Yeah, they have a grand silence, which sounds wonderful. So, Compline is like a set of different prayers. The main parts of all the Divine Office thing are the Psalms. So they're the, the main parts. Do you like the Psalms? Uh, which ones? Um, the Psalms like, um, Cum in peccatum exaudi vid meditatio mei, in tribulatione dilatasti miki. Oh, those ones are... May. Those ones are a bit hard, but I do them in prime. Oh, good, yes. So they are, they are kind of monotonous like, and you need to be able to read. Mum, Generally. like today's prime. Yes, you're very good. We also have some readings. They take a little bit from the Bible and just read that. And that's also fairly on one note, so it's kind of easy to sing. Responses, so we say things like Domine exaudiorationem meum, acclamam and stuff like that. They're easy. Um, we have antiphons, yeah. which are really beautiful. That's the things like, um, what's an antiphon? Salve Regina? Salve Regina is actually an antiphon. You know that one? Salve Regina. Yeah. That's an antiphon. Yeah, I know end. that one. My heart and there's some now. little baby antiphons too, so they're fun to sing. Um, but hymns, hymns are kind of the latecomers to the group. Hymns were, they're not really modern because they're like from 500 AD. I'll double check that. It was about the time of St. Ambrose that hymns started to grow in popularity. And they'd put a different hymn for each of the different um, divine office things. And some of the bigger offices like Vespers and Louds have a different hymn for different feast days. I never knew that. Oh, there you go. But Te Lucius just has, I mean, the Compline has just has Te Lucius. But we do have about a dozen different tunes for Teluchis based on different times of the year or different levels of f feastness. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. So today we're going to go through the tune for Sundays and minor feast days. So this is quite common. We sing it every Sunday and also every time there's a minor feast. Uh, we, we admittedly we sing it by default if we can't figure out which one we're supposed to sing. Yeah. Okay. So Teluchis. The vocabulary, te lucis ante terminum. I have a um, an English translation which is in as a poem. So, um, do you reckon we can read this one? Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that with thy wonted favour, thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. Okay, we'll try singing that one. Okay. English. Before the um, before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that with Thy wanted favour Thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. So, how does that relate to the Latin? What does do you remember what "te" means? Be. To thee, to you. It's like a you, but as the subject of a sentence. You can just call it you. Yeah. So we'll call you. Lucius? No idea. Of light. And ante? Before. Before. Ante is before. So you know AM and PM. AM is ante meridian before midday. And PM is post meridian after midday. So ante is before, post is after. Terminum. No. The end. End. Day. Okay. Rerum is of things. Things of oh, thing is res in in Latin, so it's a nice, really short word. Res. Um, oh. What would it be? Res. Res. Tell me in the comments if you think it should be res or res. Creator. What does creator mean, Monica? Creator. Yeah, creator. Creator mm. means creator. I know everyone out there probably got that one. Poshimus is we pray. What is a little word means that. Or so that. Pro, you know, if you're pro something, you're for something, you're in favour of something. So, what pro tua is thy, it's like te, there's a whole lot of different endings for you, but this is your, yeah. That for your, clemencia is clemency or kindness. 
Then sis, sis. This was one of those funny conjugation -y things, wasn't it? Sis means you may be. That you may be. Praisal is protector. Et, remember et? What does that mean? And. And custodia is a custodian or a keeper, someone who looks after you. Do you remember what amen means? It shall be. It, um, so it, yeah, so be it. It shall be. Yeah, it's Hebrew. It's not Latin. So, so there we go. So we'll sing Te Luchis now. Te Luchis ante terminum rerum creato pasimus ut pro tu a clemencia sis praesul et custodia. Cool. We'll do it bit by bit for people still learning it. Yeah. Okay. Te lucis ante terminum, te, ready? Te lucis ante terminum, rerum creato poshimus. One more time. Rerum creato poshimus. Okay, from the top. Te, ready, set, go. Te lucis ante terminum, rerum creato poshimus. Okay, next bit. Ut pro tu hoc lamentia. Ut pro tu hoc lamentia. So when we get up to one of those bar lines, there's a little bar lines and big bar lines, we always slow down a little bit before a bar line. You right with that? Even though there's not a dot there? Yeah. So we're almost at the end. Sis praesul et custodia. Sis praesul et custodia. Okay, from the beginning, all the way through. Everybody together? <laughs> te lucis ante terminum, rerum creato poshimus, ut pro tu a clemencia, sis praesul et custodia. Okay, so there's two more verses to do. We're going to do second verse next week, third verse after that, hopefully. And um, then we'll sing the Amen. But just in case you needed it, it's Amen. All good. Wrap. That's a wrap, I think. And um, yeah, so check the description for links to the puzzle sheet with the word search and the crossword puzzle and the maze and the matching things. And the Kahoot, once you think you've got the vocabulary in your brain. And this one features some figuring out the pictures of the notes. So. Yes, you know the from last week, the top line is, is it the top line? Yes. The top line is the dough because it has the, the, because it has the dough clef. The next space after that is T. So it goes do T. Then the line is la. And then the space is so. Then the next line is fa. And that's all we got. That's all we used today. Me so just a, don't give it away. Yeah. Do T la so fa. Sol, sol, la, sol, fa, sol. See? Okay. So all the best and see you next week. God bless. Bye. Okay, bye.